All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. See, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, the Warrior. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room? Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. underway and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with tonight though he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything and that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage but we know what a high level striker is and this guy is as high level as we've ever seen in the ufc went for the inside leg kick big powerful punch lands now he gets back to range Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. 
Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Elbow up into the target. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC top. Got clip with the right hand. the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Nice knee to the body there by Lee. Checks the leg kick. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. And they separate. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Out of range with that kick attempt. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed the kick with so much force. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Nice straight punch. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Five minutes in the books. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, the top. This fight's gonna be over, DC. 
What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his attack. Low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Nice kick. It was a good night if that landed. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement right or left to get out of the way and avoid those shots. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big kick. Very tricky when he throws that body. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Oh, big punch lands. Still I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Spinning back fist. Oh, nice kick right there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. He'll finish his fight. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique. And before you know it, boom, he lands. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Ooh, what a punch. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. That uppercut appeared to find its home. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the weak leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Straight right is there. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut lane. Jab hurt him a little bit. Oh, nice high kick. What a fight That's so far. Huh? All right, some highlights for you now on that previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me from one of them. I have been on the receiving end on some nasty body kicks, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kicks start to look like they're going to go high. He's got to make an adjustment, change something, or this fight is going to continue to go down the same path. 
you fine. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these will really start to take their time. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fight. The best you'll ever see. Don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such a tough to even be on his feet right now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Lee's looking to pass into half guard here, but he's denied. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Beautiful kick. Real quick leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Just over three minutes now to go. Let's go you Liver go. kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to set your body off. It's such a fast leg kick. Good. There it is. There it is. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. A Superman punch now. Trying to kick the leg out. Good punch. Caught the kick. Big leg kick land. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Right hand there. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Just misses with the jab there. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Knee to the body, now it's blocked. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was gonna be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Gets the inside. 
inside leg kick to land there. Nice punch by Lee. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Nice kick. Huge block there. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Great punch. Nice leg kick land. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. You got to check these low leg kicks. Nice punch, Lance. Pretty strong jab there by Lee. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Right punches there. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, go! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! He's out! Oh, my goodness! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 14 seconds of round number four. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he